Hey, Marky Oliver here, especially fit. Today we did something for the first time. We went to a facility to work with individuals who were blind and visually impaired. And I met today my new friend Charles, who is 29 years old, and I kind of want you to hear a story. So, Charles, when did you lose your vision? Well, I was born with vision problems, uh, but it was a very gradual process. I lost what I had between the ages of 12 and 16, and that's when I lost the last of it. So, at so. 16 years old, you couldn't see at all? Correct. And what kind of, how did that impact your life? Like, how was that? Yeah, I really had to relearn how to do just about everything. Um, I was lucky in that I, I was very familiar with the school and I had there, I went to school with good people so I didn't have too much trouble getting around in that area and that helped me adapt by the time I went to college. But uh, I had to relearn how to use the computer especially, how to uh, do things around the kitchen was just ugly. Wow, so you mean to tell me you were blind at that point at age 16, yet you went to college? Yeah, when I was 18. Wow, and did you, would you major in college? I've got degrees, I've got two associates in wow. business and music and a bachelor's in English. Wow, hey, that is, that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. And what, so is very, I've never really met somebody who was visually impaired and then became blind. What would you say is, if you had to pick the biggest obstacle, like what, what was the biggest obstacle? What? In like the day-to-day -day life. In the day-to-day -day -day life, yeah. Transportation. Transportation. Yeah. But fortunately, with, I mean, with modern technology, with computers and all, you know, blindness used to be crippling. Now it's just a pain in the neck. So um, you can do most stuff with technology now. Uh, but transportation, because most areas are not uh, built for pedestrians. Yeah. You know, so you got to be able to take the bus or get a car. And it can be very difficult to get places sometimes. I'm sure you inspire a lot of people here and a lot of individuals who kind of gone through the same thing as you and a lot of people are going to watch this and you're going to touch thousands of people who watch this video man like me just talking to you gives me goosebumps and I cannot thank you enough for your strength and meeting you today has inspired me is there anything like you'd want to tell anybody like you worked out with us today and you've shown that a setback is something you can overcome no matter what it is. Would you agree with that? Yeah. And like just watching you out there today was phenomenal. There's different ways of adapting to almost any situation. So. Is there anything that you would want to tell anybody watching this video or give any advice to anybody going through something that they may be struggling with? Um, in terms of blindness, one thing I always tell employers or um, I would tell teachers in college when I, you get the same question, how does a blind person do something or other? Nine times out of ten, the answer to that question is just carefully. So, you know, if you're going through it, you just slow down, take the time to really think it through and figure out what exactly it is you want to do. It's more important than a lot of people realize. And then plan out how you're going to make it happen and then just take it one day at a time. I agree, man. I think even anybody can take that advice and you know, feel like- oh, One of those cliches that you grow up hearing and you absolutely despise them as you get older because it turns out that's true. It is, it's very true. No, I agree. A lot of times, one even myself, time. I like to go very fast with a lot of things and I'm not careful about <clears> it. And I think anybody can take that advice that you gave us today. And, Charles, man, I thank you. I cannot thank you enough. You've shown me a side that I needed today to inspire my day, and you're gonna inspire a lot of people, man. And I look forward to continue to work with you and continue to meet you and grow, man. Pleasure. I appreciate everything, brother. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Shake my hand. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs>